What's going on, guys? All right, so I'm here with the uh, NES pickups. Got some games and a couple controllers. So, start with uh, one of the controllers here. Uh, for 99 cents, I got a quick shot. Kind of boomerang looking controller here. It does have a model number on there if I wanted to reference it. Not really, though. Uh, I tried this game out with Toxic Crusaders because Select is a more powerful attack in that game, and the Select button's right here. Uh, so it actually feels kind of good playing that, but other than that, um, I might give this a try on like a shoot 'em up game. Um, you know, see how that works, but you get your A and your B button here, start select, and an auto fire. Interesting controller. I picked it up only because of the price. Uh, also, for pretty much the same price, I got um, a Nintendo Mothership controller. Now what this is, uh, and it has all the original uh, paperwork in there, so that's kind of nice. Which, what happens is your controller slides right in there, and then there's a cover for it, so this slides on. And you have your uh, A and B buttons here, that you start and select. Take a look in there if you can. There's like a, there's a thin film in there, so it's actually, uh, it presses on everything pretty smoothly. Interesting controller. Um, it actually works pretty well, so glad I got that for the price I did. Now, I ran some sad news the other day. My local game store, the best one in town, Game Trader, ran by a guy named Brian, for 15 years now, is closing March 1st. Uh, I went there, got the rest of the NES games that I needed that he had, uh, and got some great deals. Um, so let's start with those. Uh, I picked up The Last Ninja. Passed on this game for about two years at Slackers because the entire top label was missing, um, and they wanted like eight bucks for it. Well, it's gone up in price lately, and I, I got this for ten, and it of course has some damage on it too. But figured get that get it out of my way. I don't mind paying that much to Brian. Um, then for twenty, I got Donkey Kong Classics. Not a really good deal, but. Um, with him, I say, how much do you want for it? Because more often than not, he's going to tell you an extremely low price. I got Die Hard for $3 from him. And that, that was in like 2010. So, 20 bucks for Donkey Kong, not complaining. I only really overpaid, you know, a few times. But in this case, I did not. And that's Donkey Kong Jr. math. Um, I asked him how much he wanted for this, and he said 25 I was worried he was going to say like 35 or 40, but it said 25, so I kind of, uh, you know, said, mm, okay, pick it up, but I really was excited that he told, told me 25, so I did finally get this. This goes for 40 to 50 bucks online, and it's never going to drop below that, and it's only going to get higher. Um, Don Keon Jr. Math, very limited uh, numbers of these, and it's just, you don't see it that often. You don't see the original Donkey Kong often either. I actually tried to buy this a few weeks ago and accidentally bought Donkey Kong Jr. So, oh well. So the last game's from Ryan's, and uh, well, farewell. <laughs> All right, so for the other NES games I picked up, I got one big lot from somebody, and I uh, got a really good deal on it. So, and then, you know, saved tons on the shipping, it was great. Um, got a lot of games for a really good percentage of their value. So the first one is Chiller. That was a pretty good condition there. All the stickers are in good condition. There's a little bit of uh, wear on the corner there, but that's about it. Uh, really looking forward to playing this game. Uh, you know, I bought Baby Boomer recently, and being a light gun game, there's just so much stuff on the screen to shoot at. It's actually pretty fun. So this is a horror type game. Um, with horror themes and treasures, of course, that you're shooting at with the light gun. So the screen's just full of goodies to hit uh, and uh, scores to rack up. So really looking forward to actually playing this game. And I've been, had my eye on that for a while. And um, needless to say, I've had my eye on all these for a while because I am down to 74 games left. Uh, so I'll probably stop mentioning that. <laughs> the next game I got was Challenge of the Dragon. And that had a black sticker on the back there. I'll probably play this game soon. Not really. I'm not really in a particular in, really in a hurry to play any of these or that excited because right at this state I'm just trying to knock out the collection as quick as I can, get it over with, 
have my genuine, authentic NES game collection and just be happy that I never have to buy anymore and deal with all the jazz and riffraff involved with it and gobbledygook involved in just collecting NES these days. Um, there's so many just even copies and imitations out there that it's going to be hard to get the real thing one day. So that's why I'm picking up everything now. Uh, prices are going to keep going up. Sooner or later, everybody who wants a Nintendo collection is going to have their games. That means that there's going to be less out there sold. And soon it's just going to be collectors selling to other collectors 40 years from now. Um, I say soon, but you know, a couple decades from now, it's just going to be us trading with each other. I mean, we're going to—it's going to be rare we find stuff out there, and that just means that prices will be higher. Um, so, that being said, onto the next game, we got NES Open. Now, some of these games I do find it funny I don't have yet, um, either because I always thought I have them; they're so common. I always thought I had them, or just never cared. Always are the prices weren't going up that much. Um, I mean, 99 cents to five bucks, yeah, that's a, a lot, but I don't mind spending five bucks on a game. So, finally picked up NES Open. Oh, in this bundle, I got Mighty Final Fight. So, this is my second copy of Mighty Final Fight. Uh, I have one manual and two game cards now, so I'll probably be sitting on this one for a while, see how far in the hundreds it gets. When it does, um, it's teetering anywhere between 70 to 99 right now, I think, at the most. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to have this game. And this is actually a fun game. So it's one of the more high-priced games that you actually want to play and would should have for your collection. So this game, um, you know, to me, it's a, just a quality game, quality purchase. Um, another game I got, and uh, this is another one that... I've just, yeah, you know, I've saw it for so long and just watched the price and the price on it pretty much stayed the same for the last few years. Um, I, I classify this game with with Snow Brothers. There's all, in my mind there was always Snow Brothers and Fire and Ice, and they were just two games that, you know, they always just had the same value for so long that I just never really cared to pick them up until now until I finally got a good deal. So. Um, you know, uh, I'm not really big into the puzzle games. Uh, I, yeah, I play them for a little bit, but believe it or not, I play the puzzle games. I'm more addicted to, like, the strategy games than anything. Uh, it's kind of funny. All right, the next game I got is a game that I've passed up on several times due to cart conditions. But that's Shooting Range. And it's pretty clean all around, so pins are clean. Pins are clean on all these games, by the way. So I won't really mention that, but there are two or three games with some labels on the back. I'll be able to remove those if desired. All right, the next game is another Koi game that I'm interested in playing, and that's Uncharted Waters. So, put that picture there. Yeah, don't know anything about that game, don't know what it's like, um, but I'm actually really interested in playing it. Alright, so I got a copy of the Tag Guinness Pac-Man. I lost out on a bid, or actually it just got a little too high for me, um, on a Namco, the Namco version of his Pac-Man. So I almost got both in the same purchase, but uh, the other one went up in the 20s a little too high for me. So pass on that one. And then last I got Secret Scout. This is another game I really wanted just to get out of the way. I mean this this game goes upwards of $180 sometimes and there are imitations out there so to pick this up and just knock it out is another uh, weight off my shoulder and I'll pop this in and give it a try. I don't really know much about this game, um, but it's a color dream game, so how really good can it be? But we'll give it a shot. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it, and uh, stay tuned for more. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm on a roll. So, 74 games to go. Uh, stay tuned. Peace.